Exterior, Beckett's house, moments later. The night is peaceful. The moon brightly illuminates the still desert. Wit steps onto the porch and sees Beckett standing at the gravesite, his head and shoulders hanging low, apparently mourning the death of his dog. I'm really sorry about Betty. Beckett doesn't respond. His head still hangs. Or is it something else? Are you upset about what I said earlier, about me being a burden to raise? <sighs> Come on, Dad. You can talk to me. Wit walks up next to his father and realizes he's completely misread the situation. At Beckett's feet is a large hole in the ground, leading to what appears to be a lighted tunnel. Holy shit, what is going on? The ground collapsed where you were digging. Collapsed into what? Beckett just grunts and turns back toward the house. Where are you going? Wit turns back toward the collapsed pile of dirt, trying to see further into the hole. He leans over awkwardly, and one of his feet slips on the loose dirt. Suddenly, he's stumbling and sliding down the dirt and into the tunnel. Wit is shocked by what he sees. The tunnel is fairly sophisticated and large, about 10 feet in diameter. There's a string of lights running along the top of the tunnel. Directly behind Wit, the collapsed dirt from above mostly obscures that direction of the tunnel, but in front of him, it appears to extend for miles. Wit takes a couple steps into the tunnel. Hello? Wit waits for a response. Beckett slides down the pile of dirt into the tunnel. He has a rifle and a small leather satchel with him. You think anyone you find in this tunnel is going to want to chat? What is this? Did you do this? Shit, son. Have we met? You know me better than that. Beckett starts walking down the tunnel in the direction that would be toward Mexico. Wit follows. Wait, is this a drug smuggler's tunnel? Look at the college professor, putting that big brain to work. Why the hell are we walking through it then? Toward Mexico. Beckett's pace is quick. They've already covered 50 yards, rounded several slight turns. Because I'm an American and a patriot, and I'm going to do what's right for our country. <laughs> and what the hell would that be? You're one man. Beckett stops, gauging. Should be outside my property by now. From his satchel, Beckett pulls out a stick of dynamite with a long fuse, and then another, gauging. What? <laughs> Is that dynamite? There's a reason I got the nickname, kid. Beckett grins.